Hi, this is Cindy. In this video, I'm going to talk with you just briefly about the quarantine email you receive daily and a couple of options for you. So I've opened my quarantine email and I see that there's an email from Simple K12 that I'd really like to actually view. My first option is to click release to inbox. If I do that, that is a one time action. It means it's going to take this specific email, send it directly into my inbox. It'll come in as a new email. I can read it and I can do with it what I will. This is not going to affect any emails coming from simplek12.com in the future. The report as junk option sounds promising. It actually sends that information to Microsoft and I assume they tally the information and when they get enough people that report this as not junk, then it doesn't get caught in the quarantine. But we have not seen much evidence that that makes much of a difference. So if it makes you feel better, go ahead and click it, but don't expect an immediate result from doing that. If you would rather not have to go through this every time you get an email from Simple K12 or wherever it happens to be, you will actually need to manage your safe senders. So I'm in Outlook 2016. The same process can be done in previous versions. And then I'll also show you how to do this in the online version. But if you use Outlook, what you're going to do is click on the Home tab, select Junk, Junk Email Options, and then move to this Safe Senders tab. I can click Add, and then I can type in the full email address or I can put in the domain and in Outlook you're required to put the at symbol in front of it. So by putting at simplek12.com and adding this to our safe senders list anything that comes from that email domain is going to come directly into my inbox instead of getting stuck in my quarantine. So I would click OK, Apply and OK. If you prefer to access your email through the online version, so you sign into your Office 365 account, you can do the same thing. It just is a slightly different path to get there. So from your online inbox, you're going to click the cog in the upper right hand corner. Scroll down to mail. On the left hand side, you're going to make sure it's under mail and you're going to look down under the word accounts and find block or allow. So when you select that, you will see that your list of safe senders is right here. You can click into this box and type out the full email address if it's a specific email address, or you can also put the email domain here too, but you can't use the at symbol. So you would just simply type simplek12.com and either hit enter or you can come over and click on the plus to add that to the list of safe senders. And you see it went right there. Be sure to click save at the top if you've made any changes. And once you've added users to the safe senders list, their emails should come straight into your inbox without being caught in the quarantine.